Welcome back to Flying Dutchman Cards in our next episode of the 1989 Tops Retrospective. I'm here with my brother, Doug, also known as Don't Talk to Robots. He has started his own YouTube channel. Definitely go and check him out. Um, definitely worth a follow, as they say in the biz. So, um, yeah. So so when, you, when we started this, you weren't on YouTube, just on my channel, but now you have your own channel to promote, so... I also feel like you're to blame for all of the money I've been spending collecting <laughs> cards the last uh, uh, September, October, November, December, January. five months, maybe five six months. months. It's true. Yeah. All your fault. I know. Well, I mean, I'm just, I uh, like, yeah, I'll, I'll just take the blame. It's it's true. Yeah. So. And maybe uh, just rekindling, rekindling the, the yes. fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the and the best part was when we started. You were like, "I'm not going to start my own channel," and uh, now you're uh, eight episodes in. So, by yeah, the time I blame, I blame uh, Baseball Card Illustrated. You know who you are. <laughs> it's true. But they they love. I think they're our number one fans of our retrospective. So yes, big shout out to Baseball Card Illustrated. Yeah, yeah. One of their was it 500 or 600 or 200? 250. Two. <laughs> None of those numbers, 250, the 250 subscriber giveaway. That's what launched me. Nice. To okay. start my own channel. But it's fun to, even if, you know, I'm, I'm not really trying to amass a following, but it's fun just to record things, record things with my kids. Yeah, yeah. Instead of me just opening up my own mail, can share it with other people and then just kind of make, just have some random episodes that, again, it might only be me. And you, yeah, watching, but it's true, it's fun, yeah, I like it. And yeah. and we're we're I've got a new uh, don't talk to robots studio I brought with me here. I like it, it's very nice. baseball trash, the wrappers, <laughs> the boxes, yes, everything. So there's a lot of it's a lot of good stuff here. There's some, oh, wait, no, wait, no, there we go, some upper deck right there, 1990s. Nice. That's awesome. Some Bowman, some Fleer. I like that Fleer box. That's classic. So. Oh, and then wait, right behind my head. Oh, Gary Carter. Gary Carter. Very nice. And Kevin Mitchell, right? Um, no, Will Clark. My Will bad. Clark. Yeah. Right there. Nice. That's so awesome. enjoy for your viewing pleasure. Yes. That's awesome. And check out those breaks, those box wars that we did um, of those boxes. Some of those boxes. Yeah, they're, that those... The boxes we break are now immortalized in my background. So perfect. You're Can't break your boxes. Yes. Okay. So today we are here because we're to our top 10 lists. So we've been teasing it for, I think this is episode like 18 or something like that. <laughs> so we've had, we've broken this down so much. We're getting to our top 10s. And so today is going to be your top 10. So let's jump into it and uh, see who you got. So let's keep going. That intro was long. Yes. Number 10, I have Jay Buner, Jay the Bone Buner. Nice. For the Mariners. Quick story about Jay Buner. We went to the Kingdom. We got there early uh, back when I was a child. And he hit a home run in batting practice. And it hit like two, two rows above where I was at. And like, went down the steps and I missed it and I was totally bummed. Yeah. But anyway, I remember that. And we were, we were sitting in, we were sitting in, in right field too. It was an opposite field home run. Yeah. Which is pretty crazy. I was so. we bummed. So we'll have to table that story to tell everybody about when we did catch some foul balls. Yes, that is true. That's awesome. All right. Number 10, Jay Buner. I like this card because I like Jay Buner. Mm -hmm. um, this is, I think, one of his first Mariners cards after the trade with Ken yeah. Phelps. Ken uh, it's, his, it's his rookie cup card. Uh, it's a great action shot, too. It's like he's kind of doing an Ichiro where he's leaving the box on his follow through, it looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, or he might just be horribly off balance, but it at least it looks <laughs> like he's putting some good effort in there. Nice. And so... Okay. Sentimental reasons. I love Jay Buner and those '90s Mariners. Uh, rookie Cup card is is nice. Nice. Number ten, classic card. 
Perfect. I like it. Um, he he had that classic um, that stance that would always he was just kind of like standing there holding his bat like I'm not doing anything, and then he would just hit dingers. So, yeah, so. hit dingers. Nice. Up next, number nine. Number nine, we have Hall of Famer Greg Maddox nice. in his Cubbies uniform. I just like this one again. It's a nice action shot. Um, it's baby faced Greg Maddox. Yes. When he was on the Cubs, um, you get this shot. It, a lot of the shots on my top 10 are interesting because it's like you don't necessarily get there's a few in this set where it's like they're pitching right at you. Right. Uh, so be interested if this is like an actual, he might be warming up in the outfield. That's probably more likely than he's on the mound because. Right. I don't know if you'd, you'd get the Ivy um, yeah. if he was on the mound necessarily, mm -hmm. but I just love that uh, Greg Maddox was on the Cubs in the late eighties, early nineties. Then he went to the Braves, did a bunch. And then when I got back into baseball, kind of around the early two thousands and especially 2003, when the Cubs made their kind of playoff uh, run there ended mm -hmm. in heartbreak, but that's when the whole city was, alive and everybody was talking about the Cubs and Maddox had come back around that time and stuff. So anyway, nice. love this card. Love the action shot. Good. Uh, just a, a nice looking sharp card. Nice. It's interesting too, because this one's a lot like the Rick Sutcliffe card. Yeah. Like same background. It's like he's, he's holding the ball. It's different part of his windup, but it's like, it's interesting. It's like, they were like, Oh, we like this shot of a Cub pitcher, you know, like let's, but, but it's like they would have been on different days, right? Because it's like maybe. maybe that 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 might need to be a segment we have, like same day photos and right. see because there's when you look through cards and stuff, especially like sets, you can see like or certain players. Yeah. I PC Daryl Strawberry, and I'm I'm probably going to do a video of like I feel like he used they used this one Photoshop photo shoot on yeah. like five different cards. Yeah, yeah. And like sometimes it's even different brands. You're like, how does this work? So yeah, it was just it was just like an associated press photo that they're like, run with it, run with it, yeah. run with it. <laughs> That's awesome. So Greg Maddox number nine. Sweet. Number eight. Number eight. eight another cubby, Ryan Sandberg. Nice. This one is also nice. It's this is probably a early spring uh photo because right. he's got the turtleneck type thing going on underneath his uni um and it'd be it's interesting because this he's either wearing like a batting practice or an away jersey mm -hmm. um but is he it still looks like he might be at wrigley right the, the background is is pretty green so i because it doesn't look like the ivy, right? Like looks more like a tarp or something like that. So yeah, but, and it's probably not spring training because you wouldn't be wearing it like a mock turtleneck um, in you know Florida. So yeah, but and I think why this got this placement also was just that nice shot of the um, Cubs emblem right there, the yes. patch on the sleeve. Mm -hmm. I, I love that um, that design. Yeah, it's a, a nice kind of so it's very era representative of yep. Cubs at the at that time. Ryan Sandberg was kind of like the face of the Cubs at that mm -hmm. time, probably you know their best player. So just kind of a classic card. I feel like all of my top ten are kind of good players, nice shots, yeah, uh, nice composition, that type of thing. So again, just kind of a nice looking card. Like I feel like if you pulled this and if you, you didn't even like the Cubs, you'd be like, oh. Yeah. This, Decent card. Yeah, yeah. I think my top 10. Well, and the, the interesting part, can you see on I, – I was trying to see what – if it's Wilson or Franklin. I remember Franklin batting gloves. You know, they had Franklin right across here, but I think it might be Wilson, but I can't really tell. But um, I like that. You know, the contrast of that being red. The the donut on the bat is red, which kind of adds some cool contrast to you. So. And then the fun, fun fact on this one, this was my first uh, – oh, no, actually not my first. It was my second – um, Hall of Fame TTM return. So um, I nice. got this one signed TTM, which was pretty legit. So nice, cool, nice. cool. Moving on to number seven. Eddie Murray, another Hall of Famer. 
Well, I think we've talked about this card before. It's just really mm -hmm. nice. Um, yeah. A lot of those photos, a lot of the photos on the set, if it's a uh, someone you know batting and it's from you know that straight on, you got to kind of get the blur from the yeah. background, mm -hmm. uh, which sometimes it looks weird. Yeah. This one, I feel like it looks nice because it's kind of Brokaw effect, you know. Yeah. But you also just have just a nice contrast between like the sleeves, the yeah. batting hat that are black, and then you get the orange. Because orange and black is just a nice combo in and oh, of totally. itself. And then you got the nice stash on Eddie Murray. And yeah. then I, he's also got the um, sweatbands with yeah. Eddie Murray on the sweatbands, which is yes. amazing. <laughs> Awesome. I was looking for those to see if they're you can buy them, and I feel like they, in the early two thousands, they had kind of kick started up again. But I don't know if they're around anymore. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I, I I don't know if I'd ever wear them. I don't know if I'd display them. But I just think it'd be cool to get some some of those. So they could be your YouTube, you know, like as your you know, oh yeah, on your live stream. You know, just, <laughs> just a second. We're, <laughs> The having a channel and then having kids on a channel, it's a <laughs> lot of work to like open up cards and like say the names and like or I just did a, a video with three kids, 10 packs. I just split it up. They each had three packs and I had one pack. <laughs> and it was like a marathon. They're like, okay, let's film another one. I'm like, I need a break. <laughs> yeah. It's like herding cats, herding cats. So yeah. But yeah, I, just like, I, Follow yep. just follows the theme of kind of like a classic player from the time on um, yeah. on like the team you associate them with. Yeah, awesome, awesome photo. It, what is what do you think? Do you think this is another Kaminsky photo? No, I don't because you'd see more of the yellow in the background. I think this is somewhere else. Yeah, um, maybe uh, I don't know, maybe Oakland or something like that. I, I guess it's. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of like red in the back, so kind of like red seats. It seems. So I, I yeah. don't know what it would be, but I, I like the uh, the no batting gloves. That's always a classic look, um, even though I just made a comment that Ryan Sandberg has awesome batting gloves. But then the hat and helmet is my favorite part as well. So yeah, I, I, I forgot I, to I mention that. Agree. that was, so. Nice. So, yeah, just classic photo, number seven. Nice. Number six. Bobby Bonilla. Bonilla. Nice. This and, one's awesome. I think number you know the number one reason I picked this card number six was um, this is probably one of the best photos in the whole mm -hmm. set. Yep, yep. And you don't really see a lot of photos of a batter from this like kind of straight on shot, you know, or right. at a little bit mm -hmm. of an angle and stuff. Mostly because you don't have photographers <laughs> out in the field taking a photo of someone. Right. Um, usually it's at the side or at different points of their swing and stuff. So this is probably during batting practice, or it might even be kind of staged where they're like, you know, make it look like you're hitting or something, but. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just, he's got a great smile, great photo. It's really sharp too. Yeah. Um, going through the set, you'll see a lot of photos that have kind of some blur to it. Mm -hmm. And this one's just really nice and sharp. So that's, that's kind of why I made my top 10 again. Nice. Uh, also, just the composition of yeah. the the card is really nice, and the colors. Yeah, I I'm just a big fan of cards that have the colors match the team colors. Yes, <laughs> and I even looking at 2021 set, I'm like, it'd be so easy to have the. the it's like all the cards have this blue, right? Purple gradient, so like. Uh, Alec Baum, I think, for yeah. the Phillies, he's right. in his retro jersey right. and it's blue and it looks super nice because it matches the design. Right. But then the other cards are kind of like, eh, blue's not part of their color scheme. So anyway, my 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 desire would be to have those cards where it matched the team color, especially in 2021's design because it uh, if you put them next to each other, the angles line up. Oh, that's cool. So kind of like uh, one of the FLIR sets, 88 FLIR. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. If you put two of the 88 FLIR, the, the diagonal lines match up. Nice. And so just imagine if you had like a binder with the nine cards there, all the yeah. angles would line up. It'd look really nice. And it'd all be the, you know, for the Pirates, you could have black and yellow. It'd look really cool. Yeah, yeah, that's true. 
Yeah, I, by the way, this is where when when someone asks like, well, why do you like eighty nine tops? I feel like that that is like one of those little things that you it's hard to you know what I mean like you don't necessarily notice it right away, but it's like on this card, it's like man, the yellow and the black and the like it all just like makes it pop and it's like sweet, you know. Like obviously, there's some ones they don't execute it super well, but like this is one they definitely de definitely did a good job on. So and we've talked about the we talked about the design ad nauseum, yeah. but also just the simplicity of this. Right. Compared to like the last couple of years where there's a lot of like digital elements and stuff that just kind right. of makes it busy. Right. Where you look at this design and it's very baseball y. You know what I mean? You've got rounded yeah. corners, like a baseball has round, is round. You know, you've got right. the classic script and like that's a clearly baseball thing. There's not a lot of other things other than like delis or right. <laughs> corners yeah, yeah. to have that kind of like swoosh under it and stuff like that. Yeah. So. And Coca Cola, yeah, yeah. Coca Cola. But anyway, moving no, on. No. Number five, keep number the train rolling. Angels, Jim Abbott. I love this card as a kid. Yeah. Uh, this is one where the team colors are kind of like. Were the Angels ever like fluorescent <laughs> pink? <laughs> yeah. But um, it's also cool these number one draft picks where you get their like collegiate or minor league teams. Yeah. Uh, jerseys. Um, yeah. Because this looks cool because it's like completely different. You're like, what? This yeah. doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, so it's kind of it's kind of that like unique uniqueness and stuff. Right. So yeah, I yeah. think I was excited uh, getting this card when I was a kid because uh, Michigan was big at the time. We were born in Michigan, yeah. so that was kind of like the team we were following. Right. Um, and then just Jim Abbott was probably one of the best like prospects of this set. Right. Yeah. And yeah. Then, mm -hmm. And then just his story, what he overcame to become a, a really good pitcher. Yeah. And just a cool card all around. Yeah. So I like it. Yeah. I just, I, li I like this one. Um, probably a lot for nostalgia over kind of the designy parts of it. But uh, right. yeah. Yeah. It's just a, yeah. Just another kind of classic card. I think, I don't know if anybody, if you pulled this out of a Fairfield box, you'd be like, oh, nice. So, you know, I got a Jim Abbott. That's kind of like a solid yeah. card. It's not like a, yeah, yeah. It's not a lot. So, very nice. Moving on, number four. Ooh, man. I, I, I. Spoilers. Well, I don't know. We'll have to see if I did a video on this card. So nice. I have to see if this video comes out on your channel before my video of this comes out on your channel. Who knows? Nice. nice. But you know, you can. You can. You can know. We don't know, but you could know. Go check out my channel. See if it's posted yet. Right, right. Anyway, so this is probably around the time that I chose to. Cho I chose Daryl Strawberry as my kind of PC, the person I was going to collect mm -hmm. at, when I was a young a young boy. Um, it's probably because of this card because it's just it's just awesome looking. It's you know again we got the the colors matching. Yeah, um, I love these Mets uniforms with the racing stripes on the sides, oh, plus yeah. the pinstripes. Um, I think blue and orange was my favorite color combination back then. <laughs> it still is my favorite yes. kind of color combination. And again, he's got the he's got the sweatbands with himself on the sweatbands. He's got the eye black, and there's so many Daryl Strawberry cards of him with his leg up like this. Like he's just this tall, right. skinny player. Just this kind of classic baseball stance. Like he's, he looks like he's just about to murder the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, this, yeah. I've got like four or five of this exact card. Nice. Um, other items featuring this same design. Nice. Um, that's awesome. And that's kind of what my video is about. Spoilers, but no spoilers, um, no spoilers. Well, suddenly, and this, this yeah, just, he's, uh, got, he's got the Franklin batting gloves, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I that's remember cool. those. It's got, it's like you know, I remember like the texture, and then like you got the Franklin yeah. as like a embossed kind of yeah, 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 rubber thing on there. Yeah, yeah. So again, just you always think of Daryl Strawberry and the Mets, and right. just a classic card. This is probably, you know kind of around his prime. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah. nice. That's just awesome. uh, a love card. I, 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 I don't know. I feel like I might have 
bump this one up a little bit more, but I didn't want to be too much of like a homer because it's <laughs> kind of like my guy. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool fun fact is that the Mets colors, the orange and the blue, do you know what they're in reference to? They are to the two teams that left New York. Yes. The Brooklyn Dodgers and the New York Giants. Yeah, yeah. And they became the Metropolitan Mets. Um, yeah. That was, uh, yeah, we we went to Shea Stadium uh, the last season before they tore it down, and it was a rain out. Yeah. But we watched a nice um, documentary. Yeah, we watched a documentary. <laughs> I, they're basically, I think they knew before the game that they weren't playing the game. <laughs> but they're like, why don't we just put this hour and a half long movie on? People will watch it and buy stuff, and then we'll cancel the game. Yeah, because it was, it was like immediately at two hours, they're like, yeah, that's good. Let's all go. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm a Cubs fan. So, it's hard to like other national league teams, but I, I do, I do kind of, if the Cubs aren't playing the Mets, I might root for the Mets kind of team. Nice. That's awesome. All right. Getting down to it. Number three, number three, we got a record breaker. Yes. And we got Oral Hershiser. And I think uh, Oral Hershiser was just like the man in 88, oh, yeah. 89, you know, you've got the Dodgers in the world series. Um, but, Oh, Bulldog. I was going to call him Crime Dog, but that wasn't that. <laughs> From a grip. I know, yeah. Crime Dog was not his name. Bulldog, uh, he had his streak going on. That was, I think that was something, there's certain things that you latched onto as a kid, and that was one of the things I latched onto as oh, totally. main streak. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so just, uh, I, I like this kind of insert, the record breaker one. Um, mm -hmm. You got a, kind of that cool script at the top and the crazy, like, little lightning bolt. And yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a nice action shot. Nice. So, That's awesome. Again, again, one of those kind of cards that you know, if you got this in a Fairfield box, you'd be like, "Oh, nice! I got a you know, yeah, yeah. Hershiser, got a record breaker card." So That's awesome. I think this yeah, is so my this is my favorite record breaker. So I think this is why I yeah. put it in here. The one thing though that this doesn't beat though the best um, card that acknowledges his streak from 1988 is, do you remember the Donruss one where he's juggling the balls? It says yeah. 59 and counting. Yeah, that, yeah. That's like, I mean, this is a great card, but that one's just that next stop up because he's like juggling. And then the best part is he, he pitched a third of an inning in 89 and gave up a run. <laughs> so it's like 59 and a third. <laughs> so Yeah, so that was probably, yeah, it was probably like when we started collecting and so that winter right. we were like, oh yeah, we're all geared up for this streak to continue, right. you know? Yeah. Because all the cards are like pumping it and stuff. So. Right. Yeah. 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 So yeah. So that was definitely like in the forefront of our collecting. Like. Like. Yeah. And then, and then the best part too, the place that we, uh, the card shop, the local card shop we went to, it was called Bulldog, baseball cards or sports cards, and so it always reminded. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Marketing, branding, it got to us. All right. Number two. Number two. I'm excited. Oh, beautiful. We've yeah. talked about this card before. I feel like. Yeah. 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 But I mean, you got Future Star. You've got the Sweet Brewers logo. Yeah. You've got it's Gary Sheffield's like rookie card. You've got this awesome chain that's showing that the, the the colors are all matching. Um, another just one of the kind of more striking photos too. Like if you go through this set, you're going to see a lot of kind of bland or like kind of weird photos. But this one's like Gary Sheffield. He's here. Yeah. He's not going to mess around. He's a future star from the future. Yep. Um, probably one of the best kind of rookie cards out of this set. Um, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I just I, I like this card. Um, yeah, I like this card a lot. Again, it's hard to be. It's hard because I really like the Brewers colors and I like their their logo, right. and especially that they've gone back to those kind of throwback uniforms lately. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was a lot easier to hate them when they had like those kind of gross, um, yeah, old gold uniforms and stuff. Right. And they're like, oh man, but they look so nice. Yeah, yeah. It's like, Ey. yeah. But so, uh, yeah, I, I feel like this is the one uh, that you know, when we get you know that month's Beckett, we'd be rushing to see like, okay, how much is this card going up? You know what I mean? Because this is the one that I feel yeah. like was like, whoa, you know, that the hot one of the hot rookies of '89. So. 
Yeah, number two, Gary. Okay, Schiffler. We go. I like that's a strong. That's a strong number two. Who's yep, gonna be yep. number one? Who's gonna be number one? Dun dun dun. dun. Will Clark. This no. one is just kind of. He's a he's a bad mother. Like he's just got he's got his eye black on. He's yep. like, how dare you take my photo when I'm yep, yep. I'm in front of the green tarp that everybody else got their photo in front of. <laughs> yes. That's he awesome. wins the best green tarp photo. Um, oh yeah. So yeah, just like another kind of classic card, well, well composed photo. Yeah. Um, I think, I think this and the Eddie Murray when when they have those elements of black, they kind of like really pop off their uniform right. and their batting gloves and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I probably subconsciously why I picked this number one is because of what I got right here. Yes. It's the same yeah. card, just giant. <laughs> That's awesome. So this was my this was my you know a folder that I had. If you don't know, now you know that it's a folder. Check that out. We got bonus players here. That's awesome. Are those stickers you put in? Yeah. That's awesome. I don't feel like we got a lot of stickers, and I think all of the I ones know. I got are in here. Yes. <laughs> and I also just love that it's an accurate an accurate representation of the out outside. Right. Um. Because I feel like this is just a nice, nice looking design as well. Right. Again, we've right. talked about all this stuff, but yeah, number one yeah. card. I feel like this is just a a cool looking photo. I think if if I don't know, I don't know if there's a better Will Clark card than this one. Maybe there I is. But I feel like this is a pretty classic yeah. Will the Thrill Clark photo, yeah. um, and. Again, it probably any of the – this one, the Sheffield one, and the Strawberry one, I could probably interchange as my number one. Right. But I think I – I probably just because of this folder. Yeah, I yeah. Number one. You saw uh, that extra 100,000 times, so <laughs> yeah, cemented in your mind, yes. That's awesome. So that's it. I mean, that's – I feel like that's a solid top ten. I'm really – I'm excited to see your top ten. Yeah, yeah. Um, I – you know, we, we've – we spent a lot of time on the set, but I feel like I'm I'm happy. You know, I, I, I made it the top ten a while ago, so it was kind of it was new to me too. Yeah. Seen it, but I'm I'm happy with my choices and and enjoyed that trip down memory lane. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah, I th I think it's yeah it's fun to see. Um, yeah, just kind of what you picked, and then you know we can compare and contrast for, against my mine, but. Um, yeah, very nice. I like them all. I, I, I could that could have easily just been my top ten and be like, well, we just have one video. So no, but you gotta come back. You yes. gotta you gotta you gotta sub Flying Dutchman cards, you gotta hit the bell. Nice to get more of this 1989 tops retrospective. Retrospective because no one else is doing this. I know. So we what gotta do it. <laughs> is the, gotta the, the main question is. What are we going to do after this? I know. Yeah, yeah. We'll We're going to go 1989. Tuned. Top straight. Comment trade. down below. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Comment down below. Which one should we do next? And also, what was your favorite card? Was Doug wrong with picking Will Clark number one? Was he right picking Will Clark number one? Um, so, what yeah. Did you like? What did you not like? Yeah. Let do you like Doug's background? Whose background do you like better? So. Uh, shout out to the one and only Bud Stoney because nice. he also he's also we're we're gonna start a baseball rapper fundraising drive for him where all the different channels just send him their their rappers. Oh, nice! I have an entire box full of them. I don't throw any of mine away. So. Yeah, I know. I well, that's why, I was like, my I gotta do something with all this stuff, or, or I gotta throw it away. And so, yeah, how about I spend a weekend decoupaging these all to a big. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the background. Perfect. The fun thing too is, afterwards, I was like, "Yeah, I'm done. This is great." And then it's just like warped. It was like there's so much glue on it that it's now, it's now no longer mint. That's Much awesome. like my yeah. Will Clark, by folder is no longer mint. Mint as well. Nice. That's awesome. Very nice. Well, there. That's gonna wrap up Doug's top ten list of 1989 baseball cards, tops baseball cards, and um, yeah. So um, thank you for what. Oh, I get it. Ten. There we go. Yeah. I'm a little slow. 
<laughs> on the pickup. Uh, thank it's you for great. watching. And check out Don't Talk to Robots and in my channel too, but you're on my channel. So we will see you next time. Rock and roll. <laughs>